Welcome to Before Now Podcast. My name is Lisa Kinyemi, but I prefer that you call me Missy. Missy is spelled M-I-C-I and pronounced M-I-S-S-Y. That's right. You need the pen, grab one. M-I-S-S-Y. That's how you pronounce Missy. If this is your first time tuning in, this is Before Now Podcast, a weekly talk show where my guest and I discuss different subjects of life in relation to how we used to see them versus how we see them now. If you're already a part of the family, you know, <laughs> I have so much love for you. Thank you for always coming back episode of an episode just to listen to what my guest and I have to say. And as always, I promise you, it's always going to be interesting conversations, conversations that you can relate with because this is everyday people having real talk. Today again, I have another amazing guest who is a very good friend of mine, a serious. I think you do more than friendship rule in my life, Zef. like A and R for this podcast. <laughs> My guest for today is Emmanuel Essang. Should I call your full name? Because I know your full name. <laughs> <laughs> My guest for today is Emmanuel Etim Essang. I'm going to be calling him Noel for the rest of the show. Content writer, digital marketer, freelancer in every sense of the word. I'm giving you our colleagues. <laughs> Emmanuel and I are going to be discussing our ideal spec. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> this conversation is going to go like always. I do not know how it is going to turn out. But one thing I know is that you're going to enjoy listening. So shall we dive right into it? Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Talking about pay. You know, last week on the show, we talked about having friends with benefit. And my guest and I seem to not particularly like that kind of arrangement. So today we have decided to talk about our ideal spec. At least if you don't want to do friends with benefits, you want to do a serious relationship, you probably have an idea of what that should be like in your head and what that person should look like in your head and the qualities that they should have so let me ask you Emmanuel as we can see for me I'm wearing one speck on my eye right now so <laughs> speck has different meanings to me so tell me what is your definition of spec before we even put the ideal behind it uh, for me spec would be uh, the qualities mm. whether physical or whatever kind. Mm. Like speculations. Yeah, the yeah. qualities that I would have to see in somebody before even uh, deciding to date the person. Mm. But you know there's spec in expectations. So like expect, spec. Like so aside the qualities, the expectations, everything joined together to make everything. this spec. I've already told you my definition of spec is the one I'm wearing on my edge right now. <laughs> But as it relates to relationship and dating and marriage and all of that, I think um, I agree with you. The spec is qualities, the attributes that you look for, seeking the person that you want to be with, that you want to make your partner. So tell me, Manuel. Before now, what exactly was it? Like, I don't know. Let me get, I think I know guys want like some big body, <laughs> big front line. <laughs> And all of that. So, did you have any of all of those? What exactly was it? Um, I think I'd say that my spec has always been very really simple. Mm -hmm. Have sense. Ha! Wahala. Have sense. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 no. Are you saying that I don't want anybody to shame or something? But then I want to say that we, some people want their women like curvy and all mm -hmm. of that. So you're saying that even if the person does not have curvy, you just want the person to have sense. No, That's I, it. Generally, I think I think uh, people would have that expectation. Generally, people have that those preferences. Those are um, okay, this body shape or this type of body shape or mm -hmm. that type of body shape. Um, some people say boobs, ass, whatever. Mm -hmm. We all have them. Mm -hmm. No matter what you are, no matter the kind of person you are, we all have them. Yeah. But when push comes to shove, <laughs> I think I think most times people find themselves throwing those things into the bin. Yeah. So I like to go for that that one that I can't toss into the bin. Yeah. At any point, have yeah. sense, like be reasonable, be a reasonable person. Mm -hmm. A kind person, someone that has empathy. So what you're telling me now is that never in the history of you looking out for who you want to be with have you chosen no, no, we, somebody. No, boobs, <laughs> boobs. That's, that's oh my god! <laughs> Let me finish what I was going to say. In the history of you looking out for a partner, you have always just wanted sex. I mean, before I'm not talking about you now. I'm talking about the you that didn't even have sense, like your younger self. Because there was a point in time, you know, our lives when I want to believe that everybody, did, you know, our sense was still forming at that point. So you're trying to tell me that you've always had sense to want somebody that has sense. Is that it? Yes, I I can't lie now. I Okay, I think it would be hard for me to lie on the pod because I've written, I've castigated myself a lot in a lot of my writings where I've said um, the kind of things I used to look out for in men. For me, I think my ideal spec one time used to be just have like a lot of money. <laughs> I'm talking about my younger self, please, people. But you know, that used to be me. I used to think tall, dark, and handsome. Okay. I used to think um, eloquency. Like, okay. yeah, please be able to speak English. Like, let the, don't come and be writing AM and be telling me yeah. that it means I, I For um, me, I think speak English 
come in it comes into that um that same that description of having sense. No not everybody that has sense can speak English. Uh, so you speak it. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what we are doing. Like not everybody, <laughs> not everybody that has sense can speak English. So for me, I used to look forward to having somebody very eloquent. I, I love somebody with a good sense of humor. I mean, that used to be everything for me. But really, how did I fare? And I think another thing that's always been, how do I put it now? Another thing that's always been, you know, my list when I'm checking out for spec has always been the genotype. So you that you're saying have sense now, you're telling me that even if the sense, yeah. So okay, we'll, so we'll still get to that part. We'll still get to that part. <laughs> But I was just trying to say that before, that has always been the only thing. Ah, that has always been the only For me, yeah. before, I did not have only one thing on my list. Like I, I was I had, saying. I had just one. Tall, dark, handsome, have money, be eloquent, have a good sense of humor. Don't be boring. I cannot stand boring people. It's something I've always been unable to stand. So if you're somebody that I'm going to stay with and I'll be thinking of going back to my house or I just want to be with my friends and all of that, I have never really been a fan. I don't want to be with you. I cannot even see myself having a relationship to do not to talk of walking down the aisle and saying yes i do so you're telling me now yeah. that all along it has only been about having sense it has always been about that some of my childhood friends might get to listen to this and mm-hmm. they can't testify they can testify that um growing up i always had even when we we're just kids like just having normal where you didn't really you know have all these uh, specs or whatever then for me it was always my, it was always defi- what? It was always have sense. My definition of maybe having sense now might have maybe evolved Change, over evolved, time. Changed, evolved, exactly. But That's why we're me, here. I think my friends will tell you that ah, I'm all, I'm, ah, you always have I'm too much speak English. Oh, <laughs> that kind of thing. I'm too read novels. I'm, that, you know that kind of thing. Now. Yeah. So I've always been around people like that. And, yeah. and I think there's something that why reading will always come into it. There's something that reading does to people. It's, it broadens their horizon, their, mm-hmm. the way they think, the way they see the world generally. Mm-hmm. And I think those values that I want can would mostly be found in those kind of people. Yeah. So every other thing, uh, boobs, uh, we can manage. Uh, hmm. we can hmm. manage. Are you sure? <laughs> From the bottom of your heart, are you sure that you can be, are you sure? Are you sure that having um, a big booty, uh, I mean, um, an average moderate, my dear, uh, having a moderate my dear, booty can be found in reading books and speaking English? My friend. Yes. If we can't, you know, we have to like, Merge the two, maybe have sense and have boobs. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I know that you people know that this guy is a very, very unserious person because first it was strictly have sense, but now we are talking about a merger. Yeah, but it's been so much fun having this conversation so far because really I would never have imagined that a long time ago you already had have sense on your. I know that you pick your friends like based on sense, I know that, but talking about when we were young and people just wanted to play around and just like, I don't know what was growing up like for you i think i want to know yeah, okay. were you at any point free did you have that freedom when you were growing up to have friends and hang out with people or were you an normal get inside because yeah. that would make me know if the reason for saying half sense is because you were always found in the library <laughs> <laughs> no i wasn't a nerd i wasn't i don't think i was a nerd i wouldn't okay. qualify myself as such now growing up i think i, I experienced um parts of both worlds okay when i was born we were like really okay Mm. We're in Lagos. My dad was a banker and mm. all of that. And then around 99 or so, we moved to Ibadan. Mm-hmm. And then when we moved like a, a year into that transfer. So sorry, when you were like the banker's son, you were on my getting side? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was. We moved to Ibadan. Like it was just... Ibadan has a way of doing things to people. I was on my getting side till I came to Ibadan as well. Yeah, <laughs> you know I, that? I, I think I would have remained an on my getting side when we moved to Ibadan. But something happened, which I would get to now. When we moved to Ibadan at first, we're staying Fellele bedroom flat, uh, kind of thing, three bedroom flat. And it was just from school. I was in nursery school, primary school, nursery school then. So it was just from school. I was quite young. From school to, to the house. In fact, they used to lock us up because I remember my mom was they not had to there, lock you up. They used to lock us <laughs> up inside the flat. Every, we had everything. We needed the food, everything. Just lock us up. And then with who? Because you're, like the, you're like the oldest child. Yeah, it was just two And of you were in nursery. Then. Yeah, it was just two of us. And they were locking two of you inside yeah. the house. Do you want to sue anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it was just us. But then a year into like a year into moving to Ibadan, my dad lost his job, okay. and then 
uh, it was just downhill from there and then i got to experience the whole public school life oh, God. public school was, was culture shock because i was not used to a lot of things i got to see in public school so yeah this is not about my growing up but i just want to i just want to point out how growing up af- maybe affected the way i define spec okay so going to public school now made you decide that it's only people that have sense no i need to understand no no, no. it was not going to public school then it's it's i think it broadened my scope to a bit okay when i got to public school the people i still made friends with were kind of like the sensible bright people. guys mm-hmm. sensible people and all of that. or people who were just generally inquisitive people who were always yeah. willing to learn and yeah. talk about stuff so from there onwards i finished uh, primary school it was public schools throughout mm-hmm. but i still always had this oh or more body kind of hmm. kind hmm. of i know feel. somebody that's listening now that's <laughs> going to say i said it you and your friends are body <laughs> so i still always had this almost, even though i wasn't living the life anymore mm-hmm. but i still always had this because i always had books i always i was always reading this mm. or reading that so things that many people my Except age would probably voracious <laughs> readers <laughs> so i think being that kind of person yeah the kind of friends i made yeah. both male and female the kind of friends i made were just drawn from different parts of the spectrum yeah I had friends that were not rich. Mm-hmm. I had because I could speak English and all this kind of things, uh-huh. those little little uh-huh. nonsense that we used to write. So I still had rich friends who probably thought, "Oh, this guy, you know, I, yeah, do. I could very, flow yeah, you both could, worlds. Yeah, exactly. I could flow." You could and then mingle. being someone who could play football mm. also changed a lot of oh, things gotcha. for me. So I became like <laughs> star of the Adugo, that kind oh, of, shit. that kind of. So and what kind of people would come to the pitch to play football in you know living in a, like a ghetto area? Uh-huh. Like, poor people and. So I've always been able to balance it. Mm-hmm. I can talk to, I can walk into a room filled with at the balls and flow with them, flow, and I could enter. You know, and see, I could still hey, rough it up. You yeah, know, that kind of yeah, that kind of so, thing. So I think that that's that's where been. your old spec ideology yeah, came from. Been. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like to put you on the spot, my darling friend. You know I'm going to do this. You know I was going to do this. <sighs> I'm scared. Why are you scared? I would never have expected you to be scared. Yeah. I know people are written for you right now uh, saying go, not, go 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 <laughs> Okay, so this is the point where I get to put Emmanuel on the spot. And because Emmanuel is my very good friend, I'm going to give him very much l- lesser time to unscrabble this word. Are you sure we're friends? <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for, like having each other's back. I have your back. I believe in you so much that That's you can fine. do this. So I'm going to give you less time to make this happen. The word is spelled A L I D E. A L I D E. A L I D E. Daily. D E. Time up. I'm so sorry, my darling friend. Um. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm so sorry. I know that right after the show, you're going to break my head. That one is very certain. But let's proceed. You can't believe it. I'm sorry, dear. But I love it. I just, I enjoy doing that to you. And every other guest on the show. So let's proceed. Talking about our ideal spec. Shit. (laughs) Oh my God. Oh my God. Talking about our ideal spec. Okay, I've been so engrossed in this moment. I forgot to tell you all to head over to social media or go and scrabble the word that Imadel could not unscrabble the word is spelled A L I D E. And I know that right now he knows what exactly I'm talking about. But let's proceed. Okay. Right about now, what's your definition of spec? What's your ideal spec? You sound like, yes, it still has sense. But you mentioned something. That's the angle I'm going to come in from. You talked about the evolution. You talk about our the evolution of the spec that you have that is having sense so how has having sense evolved for you so now you're saying that having sense now accommodates some kind of <clears throat> it does so what what are we talking about here um being an adult now of course you can't see things the way you used to see them uh, i still want people to have sense i still want my, my ideal uh, partner to have sense of mm. course so do you but... have do you have one right now as we are speaking like an ideal partner do you have a partner, a partner? yes I do, I do and that partner because you just said you want the partner to have sense so I want you to just clarify like no 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 I still I, I mean what I meant to say is that even now I still it's something that I stay high on my priority list okay. you know, of course I'm not I'm not searching now but guess what I'm saying <laughs> say it's not no, searching no, no. for who <laughs> all of who single <laughs> yeah but if I were yeah it's, it's still 
it's still a 10 for me. Okay. But I've just been able to accommodate a lot of things into having sense. Yeah. I, I think my, like... my previous stance would um, was something, it was a bit extremist. Okay. I, like, I would have looked at people and then, ah, I can't read books. Ah, I can't speak cannot, English. You cannot read like 52 you books see, in, get, in like, one year. It was, uh, but then, as an adult now, you realize that people are different. Other mm-hmm. people. But whatever, no matter how different you are, I still expect you to have a, uh, a good understanding of how the world works. Yeah. Uh, we could still we should still be able to have conversations yeah. even if they are not like they might not be deep but we should still be yeah. able to have conversations about our life yeah and um, yeah so now I can accommodate people not being voracious readers I can accommodate people not being of course there's money to be made the yeah. f- uh, the is real bro also <laughs> is money real to be made so yeah. nobody really cares about all these kind of things anymore yeah so now my having sense now accommodates all those things um, you being so financially I, I know. prudent you okay you being um, uh, boobs uh, hey <laughs> this 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 boobs is just reoccurring in this conversation I don't understand this I, boobs is just I think I would gravitate more towards somebody that has sins and has boobs, you know? Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) But but then, if the universe packages somebody who has sins and doesn't, go, go, go. Do you really mean what you just said? Yes, yes. Do you really, really mean what you just said? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so for me, I think um, I would say that um, the spectrum of my spec, oh god, I don't know what that means, but having an ideal spec as, um, evolved as well over time initially like going to school and all of that especially when going to school marriage was like the end goal like finish uni finish a master's degree and then get married it used to be like oh just make sure you're that person you're getting married to is somebody that has money and he's tall and he's dark and he's handsome and he's cute so he can make cute babies and all of that i'm not going to lie cuteness is still very high on my oh, list gosh, i don't i, I don't <laughs> I don't, I don't do less than cute. Like I cannot do less than cu- like very cute stuff. Like I can't do less than cute. So, but over time, you know, it has gone from wanting somebody to ha- that has money to wanting to have my own money and having somebody that has money as well, so that we can. But this is this has gone from wanting to spend a man's money to wanting to make money and share it with somebody. Like let's 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 be with. So for me, I've never really been a fan of already made people. Nah, okay. I've grown from that person who wanted to just be with somebody rich to wanting to build stuff with people so i've always been there like uh and i think you know me like <laughs> i've always wanted to i think when somebody like extremely wealthy with flashy cars and everything sparking beside myself you used to offend me like you know what are you looking yes, for beside yes. me <laughs> in my in my head i was like what are you looking for near me right now like you're not my type and it's so weird to actually admit it because this has this is something that you would you wouldn't hear people say all the time like i just don't know how to sit with what you've already made and bring cutlery to the table and then <laughs> start dicing it and taking it I'm, i like to build with people so i'm not going to say struggling people yeah. but people that have like a lot of potential of course i'm not single so <laughs> i'm not i'm not talking like oh if you are uh, if you meet the standards apply no i'm not single but i'm just saying that what it is for me now where i'm coming from and where i have i am now at a point where genotype is still huge for me mm, yeah genotype yeah. i mean i yeah, had talking about sorry sorry to, sorry to cut in talking yeah. about genotype i think i've not always um looked at that because you're because you have because you have ragging rights I'm, I'm because yeah really but you know there's that. more than just genotype and i think we'd have to discuss but when we get to the health part of this yeah. particular show, there's more than just genotype to look out for when it comes to compatibility, when it comes to what you're reaching out, watching out for your partner. There's more than genotype. I just thought to put that out, okay, you know. Okay. I just thought to tell you, stop rubbing it in our face that you have that you have bragging rights on this genotype thing. But for me, because I'm AS, I've always been about looking for somebody that can just save my generation and my future and my children and just come with the AA genotype. I've always been out there. I think there was even a point where I was wasn't really huge religion was not really huge for me but i think at this point in my life now i'm taking my compatibility more serious but you know i've always been one way and now i'm here at the point where you have to be fine i have to retreat for me spec is fine so you place <laughs> boobs with fine i don't know what you're talking about yeah. because i'm not a boob seeker i'm not an africa no, no, I mean, I i'm mean. just saying that it has to be cured like my ideal spec is cute my ideal spec is fine my ideal set for spec has brains brains that can build an empire and sustain it somebody with great potentials majorly that is what it is now so yes in case you're wondering who the love of my life is just know that the person has great potential they should pay you to do it 
Shoot. I'll put a gun in your head before you before you talk. <laughs> So just know that my ideal spec right now is an amazing person with brains. Gosh, are we really has bragging? Sense. He has sense. Has sense. <laughs> At the end of the day, having sense. I, I, spec. Has <laughs> sense. I think I agree. At this point, that having sense is important. Forget it. You don't want to be with a very fine person that does not have sense, that cannot hold conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's the fact that having sense just really encompasses a lot of things. Like, it's weird for you to find somebody that is reasonable and... And it's not, not attractive. Kind, and it's not, it's not kind. It does not have empathy. Yeah. It's rare. It's like, they work on themselves. Exactly. They build themselves. So, it, it really just encompasses... That is why That is why I've always just said have sense. Yeah. For me, it encompasses a lot of things. A lot of, a lot of things, things yeah. Yes. That can really be major in So, you're still there contemplating what your ideal spec should look like. I think we have an advice for you. Just go for somebody that has sense. Like, have sense. When a person has sense, if you're like me, had cuteness and fineness to the least. If you can't do without you... boobs, <laughs> find don't... the one that has sense and boobs. Uh, yes, don't uh, go. If you can't be you... somebody that. <laughs> Don't shoot yourself in the leg if you if you know that you're an ass person or a boobs person or a tall person. You like tall people, you like short people, people, you like dark skinned people, you like fair skinned people. Please prioritize these things, but at the same time, do not forget that they need to have sense. What's the point of having a tall person with no brains in your life? Like it doesn't make any make sense. No it's sense. no fun. You need to be with somebody that you can laugh together, that you can that you can even resolve your arguments because you're two different people and you're going to have Sensibly. issues. Somebody that you can resolve your issues sensibly with that is the person that we would advise you on the show today to look out for we believe that if you've listened up to this point it's because you had a reason to Emmanuel how has the show been? I had a great time I mean this is huge for me because I, I, I'm not I'm not a talker I can't talk yeah. you know that yeah. <laughs> so this is really huge for me thank yeah. you for inviting me on the show oh today. it was so good to have you you already know what to do head over to social media go follow the pod on social media on Instagram and Facebook it's at before now podcast you can find me on Instagram at Missy Blissy. Missy Blissy is spelled M I C I B L I S S Y. You can find me on Facebook. Okay. At Emmans S Sang. That is E M M A N S S Sang. S Sang is spelled E S S A N G. I use more Facebook than any other platform. Okay, so I think I've not been really active on Facebook lately, but you can as well find me on Facebook. It's at Blissa King. Yeah, me on Facebook. Till the next episode, ask yourself what happened before now. 